Today we're going to be prepping a piece of 500 flex cable and installing it into a device. So um, what we're going to do first is get our pin into the device. I'm going to just hold this here for a second. So just like any other hard line connector, we measure it up, we test fit it into here, measure it up past the pin and cut it. I'm not going to ruin this one now. I'm going to use the already cut one. And install that. Wrench it down. Make sure we tighten our seizure screw. Not too much, just a little past snug. About a quarter turn. Okay, then we're going to prep our cable. The tool for this is a utility knife. And it's going to look about like a piece of drop cable when we get done. So, you can do it in multiple steps. I'm going to do it the dangerous way. And I'm going to go clear down to the center conductor, but not... I don't want to touch and score the center conductor. Because that will affect my channels, so... Needs a little bit more. What I want to do is just get it enough through the dielectric so that I can turn it and it just you could feel it break loose. And that means I should not have gone in and touched the center conductor. Then I'll peel the, the jacket and the braid back some, just like you would on a piece of drop cable. Peel it back just like drop cable. Now, one thing you want to be very careful of, because I went on a job where a very experienced splicer, career splicer doing hard line, he went to do this cable and he cut too far into the dielectric here and it caused outages on the reverse. It took a while to find when you got to tear all the devices apart. But what happened was the dielectric was loose down here too because he went too far. So, another step. I'm going to do that you don't do with drop cable. So I'm going to cut the braid off, the extra braid, so that it doesn't get down in the threads of our connector. So now we'll slide the back nut on, we'll slide the second nut on, and you'll see there's, there's a stop in there. That's how far it comes up, and it's going to stop. Let me get the back nut started. So that when I put it together, now it should still turn on here, but if you tighten this too much, it, it'll, it'll stop it from turning. So then I've got some measure lines on here. If I hold this down here, it should be real close to that. Um, this is probably still good. It's pretty close. And you can feel it go up there into the jaws, tighten her up. tight and then back nut big wrench tight and that's all there is to it